We are in Asia's largest bird park. Ooh, ooh. Bird paradise. <laughs> this is a eat book shoot, by the way. What are we doing here? Are we going to eat some bird-related dishes? I'm a bit scared. Actually, I think we will. But if you don't already know, there's three eateries here at Bird Paradise. Oh, okay. Penguin Cove Cafe. Yes. Penguin Cove Restaurant. Yes. And Crimson. We're going to be dining with the penguins. Oh, that's yes, very cute. Okay. Yay. When you're eating, then you will see them walk past like that. But before that, we'll be bringing you around Bird Paradise to the different attractions. Most important question of the day, do you like birds? I would be afraid if they poop on me. I like all kinds of birds. All shapes and sizes. Different colours. I love them all. Shall we go? Yes! yes! Let's go. Okay, go. Woo! So now we'll be heading to Penguin Cove. Great We're going to go there for Haiti. But before that, we are making a stop at Heart of Africa. And it's our first night at Bird Paradise. Yes. So I'm very excited to see yes. some bird birds. What kind of bird are you talking about? Penguins. Oh. Okay, we are going to the largest aviary in Bird Paradise. <laughs> Car. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm looking at some flamingos. So cute. They are oh so God. cute. I haven't seen flamingos in a while. Big bird. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Is it the Taukan? Taukan? Taukan, sister. Oh, Their face really looks very ancient. Like me, oh. where I never put face cream. Don't say that. <laughs> Selfie! Wow, I feel like I'm in uh, overseas right now. Exactly, when I first came into Bird Paradise, I really yeah. feel like I wasn't in Singapore. Okay, we are at Penguin Cove now. Ooh. And uh, it seems like we need to join the queue. So right now, we're here at the Penguin Cove restaurant for our high tea. Wow. Fun fact, everything here is sustainably sourced. Let's go through what we have here. So pretty, you know. Yeah. I love high tea sets. I know! I'm very excited. This is my first high tea this year. We have chicken curry puffs, mm -hmm. a smoked salmon quiche, and we have a BLT sandwich. And then moving on to the sweets, we have black velvet cake, fruity scones with whipped cream and strawberry sauce, and we have the mini chocolate eclairs. And then up here, we have a strawberry tart, almond bean curd with a little cute penguin, penguin. chin chow. And then we have the bruschetta, and then the penguin over here is mozzarella, and this is so topped cute. with tomatoes and olives. Question, is it bruschetta or braschetta? Bruschetta. Alright, let's start with the scones first. There's some whipped cream here. Oh! Wow. Cheers. Mmm! This is the softest scone I've had wow. in a long time. Anything with whipped cream, right? That's so good. Even though it is a bit dense, but it's not hard. So the scone comes with a little bit of like dried fruit bits. So it's not just a plain scone. How about let's go to the curry puffs? Yes. Got a lot of layers. Wait, let me smell first. Okay, it smells like curry puff. <laughs> it's not spicy. Oh, but very crumbly. I would say it's your standard, regular curry puff. Mm. Wow! So cute! Ooh, it's a watery penguin. Wow, this is so fun for kids. Yeah. They confirm see this right, then they will love it one. I would like to fun transfer my olive to... Come, give it to me. Mm. 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 Wow, you eat the penguin shaped stuff, then you say hi to the yeah. penguin. Hi. Mm. Mm, very oh. garlic forward, I love it. The cherry tomatoes, very refreshing. Yes. And the olives, right, sometimes can be a bit too strong, but this one not strong at all. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's because of the garlic. And it's very sweet, very savoury. I love. Shall we move on? Mm. So there's a chocolate eclair and there's a custard eclair. Yeah, Are yeah. Custard? Mmm. Mm. Swap. Mmm. Which one is your favourite? Chocolate. I prefer custard. Oh really? Yeah. Because custard got a bit of like tartness to it and it's a bit more fruity. But then for the chocolate, I prefer like the smooth chocolate kind. This chocolate is slightly bitter, mm. so it's not like the thick chocolate. Yes, yes, you know yes the I mean? artificial chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with the sandwich. Yay! Look at that. This is the BLT sandwich, by yeah. the way. It's yeah. turkey bacon. Everything here is no pork, no lard, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Wow. Very fresh the ingredients. The baguette is not hard. 
No, yeah, no, some no. baguettes that like that it's a jaw, jaw workout. I know. Yeah, this is fine. Let's try the cute little penguin. Okay, can we already? Yeah. Alright, so it comes with a little cute penguin shaped chin chow on yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the longan. Can we try the longan first? Is it longan or longan? Longan. You say longan. 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 And then we have the almond bean curry. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah, the almond is strong with this. Damn. Mm. We are old people, eh? we love like old people desserts. Got nothing bad to say about this. Honestly, this is like a 10.10 .10 dessert. So this is the Owak coffee. The drinks here are refillable. I have to say first, disclaimer, I am not a coffee expert. It's smooth lah, for sure, but it's a bit too bitter for me. Yeah. It's nice and bitter, right? To yeah. counter all the sweets that you have yes. over here. So and it's not too acidic. Let's try the strawberry tart. Okay. I love a good buttery tart. Yes, same. That's my favourite kind. Mm. Oh, it's coming out. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yes, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Cannot lah, my mother-in-law watch ebook. Every time she say, but every time she do do, they loaded the tart with custard. Mm. So the custard is slightly eggy, but mm. not overly so. And it's not too sweet. Yeah. So when you pair it with like the sour tang of the strawberry, as well as the buttery tart. Mm. Let's go for the cakes. At first I thought it was a brownie, but it's yeah. black velvet cake. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's very soft. Mm. The cake is very moist. And it's not too like decadent, I feel. Yeah. It's just nice. So this means you can eat another five. Yeah! <laughs> we have our seven cakes here. I hope it's not too fishy. Okay, it contains broccoli as mm -hmm. well as uh, smoked salmon. Mm. That's too big of a bite. <laughs> the cheese taste and the egg taste is not very strong. Honestly, I can't really taste the broccoli and the salmon also. Mm. It's very light lah. But the tart itself very nice. Yeah. And we are done. And we're done. I want 20 more of the bean curd. So that was your favourite? Yes, that was my favourite. Mine yes. was the either the strawberry tart or the penguin mozzarella. Oh bruschetta. yes! Actually, that was very very good. Just so you know, this um, high tier set is actually 48 plus plus for two packs. With refillable coffee and tea. Yeah, yeah! So you can drink to your heart's content. And then you can slowly eat, take a look at penguins. Swimming. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move on to the Penguin Cove Cafe, which I'm very excited to go to. Oh my god, upstairs we can see more penguins. And he waddled away, waddle waddle. We are here at the Penguin Cafe. Oh my gosh, the penguins! They are so cute! cute. So just now we saw them swimming below. Yeah. And now they're up here chilling. Ah, now they're about to jump! Do it, do it! Ah. Oh, okay, so it's literally just right here. Yes. So the, the penguin cove is right opposite the penguin enclosure. Mm -hmm. So you can have some food while you stare at the penguin. Shall we get stuff that is related to penguin or shaped like a penguin? 100%! Yeah! Yes. Oh yeah. wow! So cute! Look at all of them! Still got more over there. Oh, still got more. They got a penguin pao! Let's try a penguin pao. Yes. Oh my god, then they got like shortbread in the shape of a penguin. That is so cute. So we got our snacks. Over here. Oh <laughs> it looks like the butt of the penguin. Eh. So cute! This one's so cute! Oh no, I ruined it. Oh no! Okay, what? Ah, it's Tou Sha Pao. Yeah, red bean. Red bean filling. Yeah. By the way, this is exclusive to Bird Paradise. So if you want this penguin pao, you have to come here. Yeah, it's 3 dollars per pao. Mmm. Mm. Wow, the red bean feeling very sweet. Mm. The red bean is not the dry type, by the way. It's very moist. It's very smooth also. Mm. There's no chunks of like, red bean. I think it's a good snack to have while you're walking around the park. It's so cute. Yeah, we got the chocolate almond shortbread, if I'm not wrong. Yay! It screams Christmas. Mm. Mm. That is thick dark chocolate, Jesus. man. Hey, this is very nice. You can actually taste like the dark chocolate in it. Mm. But it's not too bitter and it's not too crumbly also. I thought it would just be like a regular cookie. Mm. But actually not bad. So this is 250. Not bad. Very affordable I feel. Mm. We have seen enough penguins. We're gonna go over to the Crimson Wetlands. Okay, let's go. Bye penguins. We are at Crimson Wellens! This is our last stop for the day and apparently the producers say we are in for a three-course meal. Wow, curated by celebrity chef Eric Teo. Dining with a view. And it does look like a nice view. Okay. The flamingos! 
we saw the flamingo. Wait, wait, I hope for you, I hope for you. They are like screaming eh. They are oh. like screaming. Ah. Check it out, guys. Very, very nice. Oh! She is part of the flamingo fam bam. And she is with her community. <laughs> Okay, so the producer challenged us to uh, take selfies with as many birds as possible. Bro, we don't even need to count. There's so many flamingos here. We, we win. win already. We win. win already. Oh my gosh, the macaw is so cute. Ah! Oh, wait, 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 they're coming back. They're coming back. Oh my god, it's like Jurassic Park. Eh. Wow, lucky you all never asked Brenda to come here. I think she will cry. I, I think she will die. Oh, oh. Uh, not too. <laughs> This is really dining with a view. Oh my god! Okay, we're yeah. in Bali. A few moments later. Team push! Push! And push! Push! Yeah, I must be the one over here. Go! 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 Left! We are at Crimson and we are dining with a view! I mean the view is us lah, but like yeah. you know, there's the nicer view out there. Yeah. Okay, so right now we have a three course meal and this is our first course which is a smoked chicken salad. And we have two drinks right here. This is the Virgin Crimson Spice. And here with an ice latte with a cute little marshmallow on top. Yeah. Look at this! I don't ever see like ice latte served with marshmallows. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> oh my god. This is just what I needed. Yeah. After a long day, like walking out in the hot sun, this is super refreshing, very fruity. Anyone who loves like cranberry and lemon, you will love this. Is there an alcoholic version? Yes. Oh, there's yeah. an alcoholic version. Serve me the alcoholic version. Mmm, nice right. Now here we have some ice latte. Very stressed. Oh, okay. Got no sugar. Wow. Mmm. It reminds me of like a small latte. I'm ready to do in smoked chicken salad. So it has like your greens, sliced pumpkin, tangerine, and cherry tomatoes. I think vegetables are nicer when they're raw. <sighs> you also? You are a liar. You don't like vegetables. Flashback. What is the most disgusting vegetables? Everything. And a flashback. That's refreshing. Wow, I love the salad. The tangerine is such a good addition. It's sweet, it's refreshing, and the sauce gives it a bit of acidic kick. It's not too heavy on the vegetables. You get a bit of like everything. Okay, so the sauce is orange balsamic. It gives a nice fresh pop. I have nothing bad to say about this. This is damn good. It's a great start. We have our main here right now. It looks amazing. Over here, we have the seared duck with red wine and balsamic reduction drizzled all over the seared duck and we have the sautéed mushrooms and also the citrus salad. Here we have beetroot mashed potato as well as the chimichurri sauce. I'm very curious to try the beetroot yeah, mash. Yeah, the beetroot mash. Mmm! Mm. No, there's no taste of beetroot. But I love it when my mashed potato is very creamy. And very buttery. Yum! Yeah. Would you That's do the honours? Oh! Oh wow. Let's I try. am so ready! If That is cooked very well. So the duck breast, right, is a little bit pink in the centre, which means mm. it's not overcooked. You can taste how charred mm. it is. And it's so like fat. But it's not fatty. It's not gelatin. It's just very juicy. Look at it glisten. Mmm. Mmm. I think the beauty of this dish, right, is yeah. that the gravy over here mm. is savoury, it's smoky. But then when you dip it in the chimichurri, mm. it's very fresh. It gives it a new flavour. Mm. It doesn't like overwhelm the original sauce or the duck itself. And the oyster mushroom is damn nice. It's very juicy, everything comes together mm. so well. I love this dish. It's like 10.10. So if you're here, I highly recommend that you try this dish. Okay, so this uh, menu, right, it will stay on all the way until January. Might stay on all the way until January, but there'll be a new Christmas menu coming up. So it'll be an add-on. So bring your family here. Up! Up! Now we have our dessert to complete the meal. We have a red wine poached pear with gold leaves and mint leaf. Wow! And then we have a vanilla ice cream with a cinnamon crumble and orange peel on top. 
I've never tried poached pear before, much Same. less red wine poached pear. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mmm. Mm. It's cold. I expect it to be warm. There's the sweetness of like the poached pear and then it's covered by like the red wine mm. sauce. But it's not too strong. Yeah. Even if you don't like alcohol per se, right? You will still find this very enjoyable. Yes. Wow, oh, that's really good. That's very, very nice. I'm afraid producers, you will not have any left. Okay, let's try the ice cream. Yes. They did the pear so well. It's not too crunchy also. It's too cold. Yeah, I think it's not suitable for you. Hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love it, I love it. My I teeth, okay, my teeth, okay. My yeah, teeth, okay. I think you're getting old. No, 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 no. Let me, let me have a bite. Bit, I'll take this whole thing now. But right, after tasting it all together, it is a bit sweet. Oh, really? Yeah, no, for it's not, me. It's la. not too sweet for me. Just the poached pear alone, I think it's very nice. Yeah. One thing I really appreciate about the dessert in this three course meal is usually when you go to restaurants, right, mm. their dessert is always like a cake. Yeah. Or like yeah. a scoop of ice cream. But this is something very unique, honestly. Yeah. We have a surprise for you as well. <gasps> oh! I see a little birdie. Ah! <laughs> you know what? This is mine now. Oh. oh, wow. So this is their flamingo dessert. Oh. It's actually part of their high tea set. Okay. But today, they are very kind to just give it to us as an individual mm. dessert to try it out. It's a flamingo shaped shoe pastry with like custard inside and also raspberry hazelnut tea. Wait, wow. what is this? Flamingo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that it's so Instagrammable? Yeah, it's so cute. Let's go for it. I know, ah! so sad. Here got flamingo, then behind the flamingo. <laughs> it look like the S hook. Mmm! <laughs> it's like Ferrero Rocher and raspberry sauce. Had a baby. Yes, exactly that. Oh my god, that is so good. But I think for people who like like sour desserts, right? Then you can go for this one. Mm. And I think this one is a bit more heavy actually. Mm. I think because of the custard and the hazelnut. This is very good, but personal recommendation, still the poached pear for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Which dish or item was your favourite? Wow. Ooh. Wow. My favourite dish has to be the seared duck breast. That was really amazing. The beetroot mash, the sautéed mushrooms, the sauce, the red wine. And it was so juicy eh. Like yeah. when I saw it for the first time, I honestly thought it was like probably like other meats. I didn't think it was duck. And that was my first time eating like duck like that. So I really enjoyed it. I really like the duck breast as well. Mm -hmm. But my favourite had to be the poached pear dessert. I would say that it's a very unique dessert mm. that you can't really find outside. <laughs> we also went to Penguin Curve restaurant and cafe and all three eateries, right, they have sustainably sourced ingredients. How's your experience at Bird Park Wow, I think it was really fun actually. Yeah. yeah, Because it's been a long time since I've been to the Bird Park and it was mm. at the old location. And I really enjoyed the exhibits because I think it's very interactive. And I want to explore the whole of Bird Paradise. I feel like today we only explored like just that one bit. We walked around right and then I was like, oh okay, the park is done. Then yeah. she was like, no, actually there's still half more. You know, it's very very different from the zoo. The look of it also, the feel of it. I think you all should just come down and see for yourself. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs and thank you to Bird Paradise for having us today. And don't forget to check out more videos over there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Okay. We're leaving. I don't want to get shit on today. Let's go.